Hey, um, I thought we had a really energetic practice. Uh, I'm very excited about that. Uh, it was great to have BTN on set. Uh, we had some guests, a lot of guests actually today. Some I can talk about, some I can't. Uh, the one group uh, that I can't talk about, Raheem Moore, former player here, uh, brought down the Elizabeth Packers, and it was awesome to see the uh, the excitement they had to watch practice. I think it's a program that produced not only Raheem but uh, Kasim Green as well. I think Ish Medley uh, may have played in that program, so. Uh, a lot of production in that program for Rutgers football. Uh, so I, I thank them for coming and, and wish them the best of luck as they get their season started. Uh, I would expect to get, I know you guys have noticed that Caleb Johnson wasn't out there today. I think he'll be back Monday, uh, ready to go. Uh, so that's a good thing. Brian Leone had to leave practice today, so we'll take a look at him and um, and talk to the trainers and see what that's about. But I don't, I don't expect that to be you know, something that'll go into the season, but I'll find out more when I get off the field. Questions? Any updates on Ruhan Field? No, I think they're going to be a, a couple weeks, and then we'll have some updates for you. And as I said, doubtful for the first game. Anything beyond that, I think it'd be tough to judge it right now. How's, how's Dorian Miller doing with Caleb missing today's practice? Dorian's getting better. Dorian's getting better. And the only way to get better is to play. And right now, he's he's getting reps with the first team, and he's playing against some pretty good players. So every day is a learning experience for him, but we're certainly seeing the improvement. Uh, Kevin Wilkins was he? Kevin Wilkins is with us. Uh, he was cleared by the uh, Clary House. And, uh, in terms of paperwork, something that took a little longer than we had hoped, but the most important thing is that he's here and he's with us right now, and he's got to go through the acclimatization period. So today he was in helmets, and tomorrow he'll be in helmets, and then he can put pads on. Is yeah, it that much tougher for him uh, missing out on the summer and stuff like that? Is he really behind April? I mean, uh, it's certainly not ideal, but uh, we had a player here named Kenny Brett who did a pretty good job of handling that situation and was able to contribute as a freshman. So uh, it's never ideal, but you know he's here now, and then we'll get him ready. Kyle, is he a kid that when – Heading into camp, you looked at him as maybe somebody who could play, or was he more of a red shirt kid because he's a line of scrimmage guy? Or? I try never to. I try never to predetermine that. I think for all those players, it's different. And, and once you watch them, you get an idea of kind of their competitive maturity. I don't have a better way to describe it than that. Some players are ready to compete at this level as freshmen. Some aren't. It's been my experience that the closer you are to the line of scrimmage, the harder that is. You know, quarterback, offensive line, defensive line. But we've, we've had some guys do it. You know, Darius Hamilton was able to do it and be a, a key contributor for us. So it's really, it's, it's all individual. Uh, you've, been, you've been looking for depth on the offensive line. What, what's occurred recently? Has that allowed you to see more in terms of depth and kids develop? And, and how do you feel about that now? Yeah, it really, it really forces it to happen. And you're certainly not hoping that players get injured, even if they're minor injuries. You'd rather stay completely healthy if you could. But but injuries are a part of it, and, and I said all along, I knew we were going to need more than we had. And to have a couple of these things happen in training camp, it really has pushed some guys up the ladder and given us a better look at them. A guy like J.J. Denman, uh, Brian Leone up until today, um, a guy like um, Dorian Miller, Derek Nelson. You know, all of them are, are getting a significant amount of reps right now. And, and just like I said about the DBs yesterday, uh, I'm pleased with the progress. But we've, got, we've got a ways to go still, but we've got three more weeks training camp to do it. How does it help when a week in the camp, you know, they, when you have the Big Ten Network here and you have other alumni, alumni, Eric was here, that actually boosted like enthusiasm and our intensity during, during camp for players? Uh, I, would, I would say you're probably right. I think, you know, the, the cameras are on. I, I think it would be disingenuous to say that players don't like that. You know, players at this level get used to playing in front of big crowds and mm -hmm. in front of cameras and to have a great crowd of practice in the Big Ten Network and Eric LeGrand and Raheem Moore on the sidelines and, I saw Brian Leonard out there. I saw Marco Pataglia out there, and you know, they know they're watching. You know, those are guys who played at a very high level, and they're, they're trying to impress them. Kyle, is it nice to have a day like guys like that here, and then there's other people you can't talk about that were here today? Sure. Kind of. <laughs> I think you know, yeah, the, the, the recruits that you can't talk about, you know, those recruits that are here today, what they see in person is what we talk about, which is family, and it's family for life. You know, so that's why you see the former players coming back and and being a part of our program, whether it's L.J. Smith at, at the Big Ten uh, Media Days or Marco, who's now officially a part of our, our family again on a daily basis, or guys like Raheem Moore and Brian Leonard who, who love being around Rutgers football. I think it speaks, it speaks volumes without saying a word. What do you hope the fans take away from tomorrow's practice? I think they'll get a little insight into our program. I think they'll maybe, if they've never seen us practice before, have a better appreciation for how hard uh, these players and coaches work on a day in and day out basis, and I hope they enjoy it. You know, on one on some level, football is entertainment. You know, for them, and we want them to come out and enjoy what is going to be an exciting practice. With Ruhan out, two more. How much clarity do 
you hope to get at, at this in the slot? I mean, obviously you didn't play slowly slot, but he's a big contributor there. Sure. I I, uh, I don't know that I'm, I'm looking for clarity. I think what I want Ralph to do, and I think what Ralph wants to do, is, is to put the best 11 players on the field that can help us score points. And one of those players will go in the slot. And if that's Janarian Grant, that's fine. If uh, in a different personnel group, it's a different person. You know, that's fine too. You know, I think we'll we'll put them in the positions they can be successful. What are you seeing from the younger tight ends in the program right now? Another group that that's getting a lot of opportunity. I said it on air. I'll say it in here. You know, Matt Flanagan, who was who was doing a really nice job for us and was playing second team up until today, couldn't be at practice because he was uh, uh, had to do a presentation as part of his uh, arrestee program that he went through over the summer. He was doing that. Uh, forgive me if I don't get this right, but he's, he's doing research into the effects of alcohol on bone density. And it's a, a little above my pay grade to try to explain that to you, but I'm sure he could. And uh, today was the day they presented to the professors on campus, and it was important that he was there. He's a, a very talented person in the classroom and on the football field. But he's a guy who has been given opportunity and has really taken advantage of it, you know, with, uh, with Nick Bond not being able to practice for a couple days. And I think some of those younger guys are, are getting the same opportunity. So I think. In the long term, it'll help us because it'll help us build some depth and gain some experience.